I'm Troy Becker with STX Lacrosse. Today, we'll be taking you through the Marcus Holman replica pocket. This pocket has a lot of whip and is a shooter's dream and was used by Marcus when he scored 11 goals in one game for the Ohio Machine to break the single game record for Major League Lacrosse. Let me take you through it. All right, so this is Marcus's pocket. Uh, he uses a regular nine diamond top string. He doesn't use the channel lock. Um, and then he uses memory mesh uh, semi-hard. And for the bottom string, he skips two diamonds on the nine diamond row, and then comes in the third row, flips to the other side, the other third row, and uh, ties it off at the bottom there. So now I'll take you through the sidewall. So he takes his sidewall through the top, same hole as the top string. He comes up through underneath that string that we use for the top string and over. The first thing he does is a special interlock or an SI. So you'll go through the top of the mesh, through the plastic, and then up through that hole that we created, pulling it down tight. On the next hole, he does an SI again, so down through the top of the mesh once again, through the outside of the plastic, and then up through this hole that we created. Again, pulling it tight, and then one more SI, so same deal, through the top of the mesh, outside of the plastic, up through the hole. And then he will do one more SI, skipping a hole in the middle, so down through the mesh, skipping that next sidewall hole, through the following one, and then up through that hole we created one more time. And then he skips a hole by going through no parts of the mesh, through the outside, just like we would if we were interlocking. He then does a one, so he comes up through the bottom of the mesh, letting it lay flat through the outside of the plastic, and then through this hole that we created, pulling it nice and tight. Then he does a two, so much like the one, we'll go up through the bottom of the mesh for a one, doing it again, so we have a double, letting that mesh fold on itself through the outside of the plastic, through that hole we created, and again, pulling it tight. He then does one more one, so through the bottom, letting it fold on itself through the outside of the plastic, and again, nice and tight, and then one more, so up through the bottom, fold down through the outside, and through that loop. And then he does a one, skipping a hole. So up through the bottom like we did before, skipping that next hole in the sidewall, through the outside of the plastic, through that hole. And then he ties off. So he comes through the back of the mesh towards the front of the stick through that hole on the inside of the plastic, that next sidewall hole, pulling it tight and tying a knot. And there's the sidewall. So for the shooting strings, he does two shooters skipping a row between, so we will be on the fifth diamond, so if you count down one, two, three, four, five, we're on that row if you follow across. Uh, he comes through the outside of the plastic, and then just like our shooting string tutorial, you're weaving the string back and forth across to the other side, coming through that hole, pulling the slack out, and then for the other side of the string, we will be weaving again, 
going over and under the string that we just went through with. Make sure to cover up the bridges as we go across. And then tying off. For the next shooter, he skips the next row. Again, coming through the outside of the plastic. Skipping that next row will repeat the process, weaving back and forth all the way to the other side and then coming up through around that sidewall and then weaving the next string like before. So over and under the previous string covering all those bridges in the mesh. You don't want these too tight this pocket will already have a lot of whip, so you want to keep them a little bit looser and tie off on the end. And there you go.